Jake here for American Muscle, and today I'm taking a look at the CNL Bypass Valve Adapter in Aluminum, fitting 2015 to 2023 Mustang EcoBoosts. If you find yourself missing that classic sound of a blow-off valve, but don't want to spend the money or compromise your EcoBoost performance, then this adapter is a great way to make that happen for a super affordable price. Modern turbocharged engines are much more efficient than boosted motors of yore, but there's one thing that they tend to give up, and that is the sound. Old school turbos were known for that trademark whistle when they build boost and that signature psh noise when you let off the throttle. Now modern cars have what they call a bypass valve, which is much more efficient as it recirculates that boosted air back into the charge pipe. But that means you lose that character. Enter the CNL bypass valve adapter. Now this is gonna keep your stock bypass valve in place, negating the need for any kind of additional modifications, and it gets you exactly that noise that you're after. As opposed to running just the stock bypass valve, this is gonna purposely vent some of that excess boost out into the atmosphere, giving you that fun psh noise every time you shift or let off the accelerator. Now you can see there's these two vents on either side here, and that's where the boost is gonna come out of. Now it's not venting all of it, so your engine is still gonna function and run as it's supposed to, just get you a little extra something fun. Now, I don't know about you all, but I absolutely love hearing that trademark turbo noise when I let off the accelerator. Every time I drive a car that does it, I find myself giggling and purposely shifting more or just letting off more than I would normally to hear the sound. I mean, it's just flat out fun. And as you heard from the clips at the start of the video, this does make quite a bit more noise. So if that's what you're after, this is gonna get the job done pretty easily. Now this is a totally bolt on part that is designed to fit right in between your stock bypass valve and its stock mounting location. You get these two thick rubber seals on it and the whole thing is made from CNC machine billet aluminum and it's got a nice bit of polish to it as well. Plus you've got the CNL logo that's laser etched in there and it's colored in this blue color too. So it's gonna look nice under the hood as well. If you prefer something a little more stealthy, we do offer this in black as well. It'll blend in a little bit more with your stock charge pipes. But if you want a little bit of flash, this is gonna be the way to go. Pricing comes in at about $95, making it a really affordable mod for any build or budget. Now, does it make a huge difference in performance? No, but it is fun and you can't always put a price tag on fun. But in this case, if you do, it's about 95 bucks. Now it is worth noting, if you were gonna go to a full on blow off valve, it's gonna be probably close to, if not more than double the price of this. So if you wanna have that noise and you're not looking to make any kind of huge numbers or go into big turbo performance here, this is gonna be a great way to get you that little extra bit of fun and sound without having to spend a ton on it. Installation is gonna get a one out of three on our difficulty meter, and you can expect this to take you about an hour to complete. Now, this is a very simple bolt-on job. You don't need to modify anything else on the car to get this to work, and you've got the bolts that you need included in the kit too, so all you gotta do is bolt this on and enjoy. And with that, let's head out to the shop where we'll walk you through the process. The tools you'll need for this project are a ratchet, a long extension, and a five millimeter Allen wrench. Hi everyone. Today we're installing a bypass valve adapter on our Mustang, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, once you've got your hood raised, is we're gonna go ahead and move this wiring harness right here that runs along the front of the motor, just to get it out of the way and give us better access. So to do that, we're just gonna lift up on the clips. To get that out of the way, and we'll just slide it to the rear. Now we're gonna use an extension and a five millimeter Allen head wrench to get these three bolts, one right here, one right here, and one right here. So we'll go ahead and remove those so that we can get our bypass valve out of the way and get our adapter installed. We'll go ahead and break all three of them loose Now we can go ahead and just remove those. You might want to put your hand underneath just to make sure that the bolt doesn't fall out and go to the bottom. There's the first one out of the way. Number two, and then our last one here.
Now with those bolts removed, you just pull your bypass valve out. The only thing you want to check before you install your adapter is check this seal that's on the bypass valve as it is. Make sure it's not cracked or torn because you don't want any leaks when we put this back together. So with that, I'll check. Now we'll go ahead and grab our adapter. Again, you'll see that there's a couple of seals on the adapter. So you wanna make sure that those are all nice and tight and in place where they're supposed to be. There's no tears or rips or anything like that in it. Then what we're gonna do is line up the holes because they are not perfectly in line like a regular triangle would be. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that you've got everything lined up properly. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the longer bolts that are included in the kit to install this adapter. So we've got our holes lined up between the valve and the adapter. So we'll go ahead and just insert one of the bolts through right now. So with our one bolt in through the adapter and the valve, We'll go ahead and put this back into place. And then we'll go ahead and use our Allen head wrench to screw that in and just hold it in place so that it doesn't fall out. Now you wanna be careful putting these in. Make sure that they go in straight so that we don't have any strip threads. Now we can go ahead and install the other two bolts. put it in our last bolt here at the bottom. Now we'll go ahead and hook up our extension and our ratchet and tighten these down. Now it's always a good idea to tighten these down as evenly as possible. So you don't wanna tighten one all the way down and then move on to the other ones that are loose. So just kind of snug each one of them up and then you can go back around. Double check, make sure everything's tight. Now we go ahead and put our harness back on the clips and your install will be complete. And that wraps up our review and install of the CNL bypass valve adapter in aluminum for the 2015 and newer Mustang EcoBoost. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.